In practice set two, we are evaluating multi-operation expressions using the order of operations. I will demonstrate that now using a TI-30XA standard scientific calculator. Scientific calculators have the order of operations built in, while inexpensive basic function calculators do not. Let's see how to do number three together. We can usually key the problem straight in as it appears because the scientific calculator does know the order of operations. So let's try this one. 10 minus 2. On this calculator, I need to tell my calculator if this is multiplication by pressing the times key, even though we did not write it on paper. So 2 times 4, when I press equals, I get the correct answer, which is 2. For problem number 5, I have several operations. I have a multiplication, an addition, and a power. This calculator knows the order of operations and will perform them in the correct order. Let's try this. Four times three, I have to press the times key, even though we did not write it, plus five, and I'm going to make use of my x squared button, which is right here. At this point, the calculator is showing the answer to the five squared part. It's saving the addition and multiplication for later. When I press equals, that is performed, and I get my final answer. 37. And one more, number 8. 5 plus the square root of 36. On this calculator, recall that I press the radicand, the number, first, and then the square root button. It's displaying the answer to this part, and it's waiting until you press equals to finish with the other operation. 5 plus the 6, my final answer is 11.